When approaching a pedestrian crosswalk when no pedestrians are present, you should A. Always stop B. Slow down and prepare to stop C. Proceed at normal speed Answer B. Slow down and prepare to stop When a school bus ahead of you in your lane is stopped with red lights flashing, you should I. Stop and proceed when you think all the kids have exited the bus. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Stop and not proceed until the red lights stop flashing. Answer C. Stop and not proceed until the red lights stop flashing. Which of the following statements is accurate about using a roundabout? A. Yield to drivers in the roundabout, but once in, you have the right of way. B. You have the right of way when entering, but must yield to traffic in the roundabout. C. Traffic in the roundabout must always yield to entering traffic. Answer A. Yield to drivers in the roundabout, but once in, you have the right of way. When a yellow arrow appears as you are about to turn from a dedicated left turn lane, you should A. Stop completely, even if there is no oncoming traffic. B. Turn quickly to beat the red light. C. Be prepared to obey the next signal that appears. Answer C. Be prepared to obey the next signal that appears. When merging onto the freeway, you should A. Always stop before merging to let all other traffic go. B. Drive at or near the same speed as the traffic on the freeway. C. Always let the other car go first. Answer B. Drive at or near the same speed as the traffic on the freeway. When parking your vehicle on a hill facing downhill. A. Your front wheels should be turned towards the curb. B. Your front wheels should be turned away from the curb. C. Your wheels should be parallel to the road. Answer A. Your front wheels should be turned towards the curb. When two vehicles reach an intersection without stop signs or traffic signals at about the same time, the right of way should be given to A. The vehicle on the left B. The vehicle approaching from behind C. The vehicle on the right Answer C. The vehicle on the right You are driving at night on a dimly lit street and using high beams. You should dim your lights when A. An oncoming vehicle is within 1,000 feet B. An oncoming vehicle is within 500 feet C. You cannot see any oncoming vehicles Answer B. An oncoming vehicle is within 500 feet A solid yellow line on your side of the road indicates a. You may pass if the broken line is on your side. B. You may not pass under any circumstances. C. You may pass if it is safe to do so. Answer B. You may not pass under any circumstances. When is it legal to use your cell phone without a hands-free device while driving? A. When you are checking your GPS. B. When you are making a quick call. C. When you are reporting an emergency. Answer. C. When you are reporting an emergency. If you are driving slower than other traffic on a multi-lane highway, you should use A. The right lane. B. The left lane. C. Any lane that is available. Answer A. The right lane. A solid white line between lanes of traffic means A. You should reduce your speed. B. You may change lanes if it is safe to do so. 
C. You should stay within your lane. Answer. C. You should stay within your lane. Under which conditions can you drive off the paved roadway to overtake another vehicle? A. If the shoulder is broad enough for your vehicle. B. If the vehicle ahead is making a left turn. C. Never. Answer. C. Never. What is the speed limit when you approach a railroad crossing without a warning device? A. 15 miles per hour. B. 20 miles per hour. C. 25 miles per hour. Answer A. 15 miles per hour. What describes parallel parking? A. The vehicle's front wheels are directed towards the street. B. The vehicle aligns with other parked vehicles. C. The vehicle's rear wheels touch the curb. Answer B. The vehicle aligns with other parked vehicles. How should you be driving when you are merging onto the freeway? A. At or near the same speed as the freeway traffic. B. 5 to 10 miles per hour slower than the freeway traffic. C. At the posted speed limit for freeway traffic. Answer A. At or near the same speed as the freeway traffic. When should you switch your high beam headlights to low beams when a vehicle is coming towards you? A. Within 200 feet. B. Within 300 feet. C. Within 500 feet. Answer B. Within 300 feet. What does a blue curb represent? A. Only mail delivery vehicles can park. B. Disabled persons with a special placard or license plate can park. C. Parking is for disabled persons only. Answer B. Disabled persons with a special placard or license plate can park. What should you do if there is a school bus ahead of you in your lane with flashing yellow lights? A. Stop, then proceed when you think all the children have exited the bus. B. Slow to 25 miles per hour and pass cautiously. C. Slow down and prepare to stop. Answer. C. Slow down and prepare to stop. What does California's basic speed law state? A. You should never drive faster than posted speed limits. B. You should never drive faster than is safe for current conditions. C. The maximum speed limit in California is 70 miles per hour on certain freeways. Answer. B. You should never drive faster than is safe for current conditions. Who must you notify within five days after selling your vehicle? A. CHP. B. DMV. C. Your insurance provider. Answer. B. DMV. Why should you look down the road to where your vehicle will be in about 10 seconds? A. To enjoy the scenery. B. To avoid making last-minute moves. C. To spot hazards inside your car. Answer. B. To avoid making last-minute moves. If you receive a traffic citation, what is your obligation? A. You need to appear in court or pay a fine. B. Make excuses or cry to try and get out of the ticket. C. Offer the officer money in hopes of having the ticket cancelled. Answer A. You need to appear in court or pay a fine. Which of the following is not classified as a pedestrian? A. A bicyclist. B. A disabled person using a wheelchair. C. A blind person with a cane. Answer A. A bicyclist. Which statement about blind spots is accurate? 
A. They can be eliminated if you have an outside mirror on both sides of the vehicle. B. Large trucks have bigger blind spots than most passenger vehicles. C. Blind spots can be checked by looking in your rearview mirrors. Answer B. Large trucks have bigger blind spots than most passenger vehicles. For how long do traffic violations stay on your driving record in California? A. 12 months. B. 24 months. C. 36 months. Answer C. 36 months. How frequently should you check your tire pressure? A. Every three months. B. At least once a month or before embarking on a long road trip. C. Every six months. Answer B. At least once a month or before embarking on a long road trip. What is the speed limit in a school zone, unless otherwise indicated? A. 55 miles per hour. B. 25 miles per hour. C. 5 miles per hour. Answer B. 25 miles per hour. What does the defensive driving skill of managing space entail? A. Understanding the implications of road signs and signals. B. Maintaining sufficient distance between your vehicle and the one in front or on your sides. C. Knowing when to switch on your headlights. Answer B. Maintaining sufficient distance between your vehicle and the one in front or on your sides. What penalty can a person convicted of reckless driving or participating in a speed contest that causes injury to another person face? A. Imprisonment and or fine. B. Community service. C. All of the above. Answer A. Imprisonment and or fine. Under what circumstances may you legally block an intersection? A. When you entered the intersection on a green light. B. During rush hour traffic. C. Under no circumstances. Answer. C. Under no circumstances. To prevent your vehicle from rolling due to an equipment failure when you park on a hill, you should. A. Leave the vehicle in neutral. B. Apply the parking brake. C. Apply the parking brake and leave the vehicle in park. Answer. C. Apply the parking brake and leave the vehicle in park. When turning left from a one-way street onto another one-way street, from which position should you begin your turn? A. Any lane. B. The lane closest to the left curb. C. The lane in the center of the road. Answer. B. The lane closest to the left curb. When are roadways the least slippery? A. On bridges in freezing temperatures. B. After prolonged rain. C. During the first rain after a dry spell. Answer. B. After prolonged rain. At an intersection, the correct sequence to look is. A. Right, then left, and then right again before crossing. B. Left, then right, and then left again before crossing. C. Directly ahead if the traffic light is green. Answer. B. Left, then right, and then left again before crossing. If your speed is 55 miles per hour, how much distance will be required to bring your vehicle to a complete halt? A. 100 feet. B. 250 feet. C. 400 feet. Answer. C. 400 feet. When a large vehicle, like a tractor-trailer, 
takes a turn, the rear wheels follow a dash path compared to the front wheels. A. Longer B. Shorter C. Identical in length Answer B. Shorter It's illegal to keep your high beam headlights on when A. You're driving during daylight hours B. You're approaching another vehicle C. You're driving on a rural road Answer B. You're approaching another vehicle When operating a vehicle in poor weather conditions A. The time required for reaction and stopping increases B. The reaction and stopping time remains the same C. The time taken to react and stop reduces Answer A. The time required for reaction and stopping increases if a school bus ahead on your side of the road has stopped and is flashing its red lights, what should you do? A. Overtake the bus slowly. B. Stay stopped as long as the red lights flash. C. Pass the bus on its left side. Answer B. Stay stopped as long as the red lights flash. How should you drive when on the freeway and the vehicle in front of you is a large truck? A. Drive closely behind the truck in bad weather as the driver can see farther ahead. B. Drive farther behind the truck than you would for a passenger vehicle to stay out of the truck driver's blind spot. C. Maintain no more than one car length distance behind the truck. Answer. B. Drive farther behind the truck than you would for a passenger vehicle to stay out of the truck driver's blind spot. Which of these practices, while dangerous to do while driving, is also illegal? A. Listening to music through headphones that cover both ears. B. Adjusting your outside mirror. C. Transporting an unrestrained animal inside your vehicle. Answer A. Listening to music through headphones that cover both ears. Under which circumstance should you not begin crossing railroad tracks? A. When you do not have enough room to completely cross the tracks. B. If the railroad crossing is in a city with frequent train traffic. C. If you are transporting two or more young children in a passenger vehicle. Answer A. When you do not have enough room to completely cross the tracks. What does tailgating other vehicles imply? A. You are following too closely. B. Your action cannot result in a traffic citation. C. You help reduce traffic congestion. Answer A. You are following too closely. Under what circumstances must you drive slower than the posted speed limit? A. In bad weather or heavy traffic. B. During morning hours. C. At all times. Answer A. In bad weather and or heavy traffic. If a dust storm blows across the freeway and reduces your visibility, you should drive slower and turn on your A. Headlights. B. Parking lights. C. All lights. Answer A. Headlights.